Hello, and welcome to another segmentation tutorial for the Vesuvius Challenge. Today we're going to be going over a new type of segmentation, uh, volumetric instance segmentation of the, of the papyrus sheets. It's quite involved, it's a little bit clunky. If anyone has any ideas of how to make any aspect of this pipeline faster or easier, please, please reach out and let us know. Uh, we're going to be using Slicer, open source software for this. And installing is super easy. Here it is on the website, Windows, Mac, and Linux. All right, so let's load up Slicer here. This is the basic uh, set of viewports we want. And uh, to get there, if it doesn't look like this, we can click and choose con conventional, and we'll end up here. And uh, let's just right off the bat, get some data loaded. So uh, we're working with 256 cubed chunks and it comes with two files. One is the volume, uh, which contains all the papyrus information and the other is an initial mask from which we will work. Now we're continually improving the initial mask so that may change over time. And so, you know, we can just load up a volume here, drag and drop, load it up as a volume, click OK, and boom, here we are. We can scrub around in the data and uh, have a look at what we think. And then we can just upload multiple different ones. Oh, there's the center of the scroll. Huh. Okay. I'm just going to uh, clear that out. And let's choose one here. Okay, so this is what we're going to segment today. Now we've loaded the volume, we go over to the mask, we load it up, and we choose it as a segmentation, not a volume. And here we go. Now we have a mask. Okay, now we'll go up here, and there's pretty much two areas of slicer we're going to use. There's our data section, uh, which is very useful to keep track of things. And then the segment editor, which is where we'll do the majority of our work. Okay, so first off, let's get it uh, our 3D view going. So we take off surface smoothing and show three dimensions. Come over here to our crosshairs, center it, and here we are. Here's our beautiful little cube. We're gonna we're gonna segment today. <laughs> All right. Before we do anything else, we are going to go over to our uh, our margin tool, and we're going to shrink everything by uh, two voxels. It says millimeters here, but we're shrinking by voxels. Okay. Now this is going to disconnect some of the papyrus and make everything a little bit easier for us to, uh, to deal with. Okay. So now there's just a little bit more space. Some of our work is done for us without, without fundamentally changing anything. Okay. All right, so there's three basic ways to uh, separate these sheets. Okay, now the first basic way is to use the eraser tool. So we go in here and we find a region where the papyrus is connected and we don't want it to be. Okay, so we come in here and we see these two different distinct sheets are connected. Now we want to choose the sphere brush so it can uh, act on multiple, like on a whole volume of voxels instead of just going one layer of voxels at a time. Okay, and we simply disconnect the sheets, right? And so they connect again. And so like, as you can see, you know, this is, this is obviously arduous over time, uh, but it's only 256 voxels cubed. Uh, so there's a limited number of times you have to do this manipulation, but the worst case scenario is you have a whole bunch of manual, manual annotations to do to separate the sheets. Right. And then we're gonna have to deal with that later. Anyway, so the fastest way to annotate is to go into our three-dimensional view, okay? 
and choose the scissor tool. Now that we have the scissor tool, we can cut apart large chunks at a time. Right? So if you come along, and I mean, the more you've done three-dimensional work, the better. So we see there's this entire region here, which is just, we don't want that connected. Boom, done, that's it, right? So that was a, would have been a lot of different uh, manipulations in the two-dimensional view, and it's just done. So, you know, we want to hunt around for places where the sheets are connected and disconnect them. That is the name of this game. Right, so like that shouldn't be connected. Is there's fibers, and the fibers like rock and roll, bounce back and forth, and we can see this fiber coming off of here, coming down, and it touches down, and touches the next sheet, right? So you want to get that off of that sheet, because that's not actually where it exists. I mean, or it could be on the other sheet. I mean, you have to figure that kind of stuff out, right? So once you figure out what it's on, sheet it's on, you have to disconnect it. So here, this brings us to our third method of uh, annotation, and by far the slowest, but it's kind of, uh, if, this, if there was no lag, this would be pure gold. But Slicer is constantly uh, recomputing too many voxels, so it ends up being awful. So we go down to our uh, eraser tool again and click Edit in 3D Views. So here we are. Let's say we want to disconnect this from this sheet. We can just get in there and carve this out. But it's just tragically computationally expensive. So I almost never do this, right? And we can just slowly carve this out. But you can imagine, you know, if we were on a Minecraft level, you could just get in there and <laughs> and chew and uh, and chew everything up real fast with your little pickaxe. It cracks me up. Okay, so so yeah, I'm not going to be doing that really. I'm not going to be using that tool. But anyway, so we just want to keep on flying around in this volume and disconnect the pieces that shouldn't be connected. Go back to our scissor tool. There you go. Now at the end we're gonna everything is gonna f we're gonna flow everything back into this original mask. Uh, that's not gonna be very good for units, as you want a third class for your boundary, but it's going to be uh, really good for other things. Uh, you can always easily generate regenerate separation in Slicer between the sheets if you need to add a third boundary class for your units. Okay. Now for those of you with a tablet, this may go much faster, depending on how you like to work. Okay. What's going on up here? I'm pretty sure these are all different sheets. Let's make sure that cut. All right. Now there's other software out there like Dragonfly I heard does parts of this easier than Slicer, but there's many steps to this pipeline. So uh, if you do think there's easier software to do certain steps of this pipeline and then we can upload it uh, you know a certain stage in the slicer to save time I mean that's a possibility oops Okay, so it looks like that's been completely separated, right? So now we go over here and we add a segment and we go to our uh, island tool 
and we choose add selected island and we'll come back into this view and where is that island is that here no maybe it's here yeah there we go see so now we have completely separated a single sheet just like that right now if you want to get that out of the way to get your viewing easier there's a little eyeball here make it disappear all right now we have to always remember to come back and select segment one our original mask before we start editing again at this stage you do not want to be editing uh the new the new uh the new segments right i mean this is going to take a little bit this is kind of it's slow but uh i mean it works which is sort of astonishing and then any mistakes we can we can fix later it's not a huge it's not a huge drama it's just this is absolutely the fastest way to uh to make progress I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's probably some people out there who have done a lot of annotations with uh, for medical. You could probably do this much faster and cleaner than I am. Sorry if I'm making anybody dizzy. Okay. Now I think we've got. All right, we've got another uh, instance segmentation. We add our segmentation, go to the islands tool, go to the next view. There we go. There's our next sheet. So I mean, you can see the process now. And uh, you know, when you can't work in the 3D view, you're going pretty slow in the uh in the 2d view which is fine you know we're gonna hit that real soon here and some of this is kind of messy you know where do we chop this it's unclear i mean it's just stuff sticking up hmm interesting Right. Ah, see, <laughs> I don't have segment one cl clicked. Right. Right, so I kind of swim around in this. It gets confusing. It's hard to tell what sheets are what. So what you have to do also is we can load adjacent cubes to this one to see where things, like these bits here, where they're connecting, if they are part of other segments over the side here. All right, so let's go back into this view and have a look at what's going on. And this is the eraser tool. All right, I'm gonna choose this to be 
this island as it's adjacent it's most likely what's happening but we can check we can double check later we can always uh readdress these things reload cubes adjust them resave them it's absolutely no problem nothing is written in stone so now i'm going to look at this next sheet in this view and scrub through see what's happening watch things you know there's some issues there it's not too bad I think I want to disconnect this. Select our eraser tool. I think I want to disconnect this. Ah, choose the right segment. Right. This may not make sense as I'm going here, but it will make sense momentarily. This is where a little bit of domain expertise and what papyrus is like goes a long way. Right, because so I think that is a fiber bundle on, on that uh, other side. So now we can scrub through and we see it doesn't connect. That's good. Oh, we got some touching in here. Now, I mean, obviously this is arduous, but it is what it is. Oh yeah, and it's latching on to this, these dots. Super annoying. We have to pull the dots out of the data somehow. Get the networks to stop looking at them. It's really where we want it. Again, this may seem a little bit awkward, but we fill things back out later on. You'll see what I mean at the end.
but possibly a pen or a tablet is going to go much faster for this than drawing with the mouse depending on what you're comfortable with Oh, see, that wasn't quite perfect there, was it? I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not awful. Okay, so we're trying to separate those two sheets. They're separated. They're separate. Yeah, and they're separated and separated. Oh, yeah. Ooh, okay. Yeah, okay. See, right? So we've cleaned up that area. Right. All right. So let's see, let's see what we've done here. Let's see if we can add the island. Do we succeed? Right. Oh, I've even got this one up top. Right. So, so after all that, it worked. You know, now if we look at what I've done here in the bottom, yeah, maybe, maybe there's a little mistake there. But again, we can go through and change that at the end. It's totally fine. At the end, we can push segments one into the other, change all the boundaries, everything else uh, directly. Uh, one instant segmentation relative to another instant segmentation uh, as you'll see hopefully soon here i mean this is takes quite a bit of time but you know let's go have a look at our handiwork Ooh, right it's starting to look like a beautiful cube huh there's some big chunks in there I feel like I want to They're closest to blue for sure. Where are they? Where are those big chunks? Where is that? Oh, there it is. Ah, oh, hey. Right. Pretty sure these are the blue. We can also get stragglers later on in the uh, in the process here. We don't need to get all the stragglers now. Just get some of the bigger ones we see. Oops. <laughs> That's enough. Oh, what? Oh, there's another huge one down there. Where is that one? Uh -huh. There you are. Yeah. All right. Okay, good. I'm glad that happened. Now we get to see that. All right. So now, progress, right? Right.
Okay, so we can just navigate in, chop things off. Very good. Happy with that, right? Now this one, what's happening here? Yeah, that's kind of, I mean, that's going to be really difficult to do in this view. We can also segment in these other views as well. Okay, so we're looking at this one here. Let's go back to our eraser tool and uh, sort of go section by section. It's going to look at the top half here, see where it touches. I'm just going to assume that's the same thing. Oh, it doesn't touch anywhere there. All right. So let's look at the bottom half here. Right. Somewhere we've got a big chunky patch where it touches and there you are. Okay. Oh, yeah, see, I've totally misinterpreted that. Yeah, okay, that's better. So now we're going to carve this. Out. I want to do a bit of a better job. You know, we can also get rid of this and just have a look, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, right. So we just, uh, I mean, that isn't right. So I think this makes sense. Right, so I mean, I'm gonna just make sure nothing's wrong in there. So I think that kind of makes sense. Arcs up, comes across, right? All right. So, uh, I mean, did we do it? Are we done? Add a segment, get our islands tool, and oh, 
No, it's touching somewhere. It's touching somewhere. So, all right, I'll have a quick look. Okay, I'm not seeing it, so let's go into the into the 3D view. And for some reason, it's often quite obvious in this 3D view when there's something touching. Okay. Well, let's just. All right, let's see if that worked. All right, that was it. That was the one spot. All right, so like little adjustment like that with the 3D thing can be quite helpful. All right, so you know, here we are. Another sheet has been segmented in all its glory. All right, looks pretty good. And those other fibers from the sheet beside it are still quite intact. Yeah. All right, looks like we've got three more to go. I think everybody's getting the idea now of what this entails and as you can imagine as things get more compressed you're spending way more time in the two-dimensional view arduously uh, erasing three essentially what would be equivalent to three TIFFs at a time in small regions at, uh, in volume cartographer uh, so so yeah, the hope is that we you know we make 30 of these on the easiest cubes like this one, and then we keep on iteratively training networks that make better and better masks for consecutive ones, and we slowly just leapfrog our way to successful networks. Right? I mean, here's to hoping. This is, this is a ton of work, right? Oh, I think that's all just one sheet, right? Brilliant. Do they have to choose such a close color? Oh, so that's already done. That's amazing. All right. All right. Oh, yeah, right. Those are all just the f fibers lifting off. You know. Look at that, eh? I'm Canadian, eh? <laughs> uh, right, we've got our uh, horizontal fibers on the back. We have our vertical fibers on the recto, right? Gorgeous. Look at that. Man. Amazing. All right, let's just get rid of everything so we can see a little bit better. And what have we got going on? All right, it's not too bad. So where are we here? All 
All right, so let's have a look where these touch. Oh yeah, right up there. These are dangerous little ones. All right. Oh, that whole sheet's touching. Oh, wait, that's part of... Oh, what? Oh, no, that's... That's touching... Oh, God. I don't know what's going on here. I'm going to have to disconnect that whole thing. Oh, the travesty. Oh. I mean, it's really not clear. I mean, it just comes out of nowhere and arcs into, I mean, is it that one? Okay, I need to look at this closer. Okay, so that one there. is not that one. Oh my gosh, the madness. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, dragons are Okay, so that one's definitely that one. Oh, what's going on here? There we go. And did something. All right, so. These arcs. separated off the wrong one I think all right let's all right so these are the two left we have and there's these arcs coming in repeatedly so this one coming in arcs along I mean who does that belong to? I'm going to say the one on the right. Then there's another one. I'd say that one's the one on the left, and that one's the one on the right. Okay, so where have things been? Yeah, okay, left on the right. And this one I was saying is on the right. I mean, that's fine. But we're going to have to disconnect this now. Oh, my goodness. All right. Disconnecting it.
All right, that'll get fixed later. That's not a problem. Okay. Now does that touch anywhere else? Yes, it does right here. So that looks good. Now let's see, was that enough? Add a segment, add our island. Nope, not yet. Okay, so what's going on here? Oh yeah. Was that it? Nope. <laughs> All right. What else is going on? Hmm. Where is it? Huh, it's really close. Let's see if I can find it in here. Found it. You know, you should not be connected. All right, I'm just gonna choose my eraser tool, edit and 3D views. All right, is that enough? <laughs> that was it. That was it. Beautiful. Add one more segment. All right. Add another segment. Island tool. All right. There we go. There we go. It's another cube. Yeah, I don't know about this brown one. What's going on there? So we can load, load adjacent cubes and then have cubes beside each other and continue these segmentations in other cubes. I mean, they'll be separate instances because the instances are, of course, you know, restricted to this cube, but we can use it for information. We can also, uh, you know, uh, turning off the masks and scrubbing through these views is very good. 
but it'll likely be informative to have load of the coordinates in Cartes and explore, uh, even in volume cartographer, figure out where you are and then scrub up and down and see the continuity of papyrus. So we can resolve these boundary conditions of, you know, this brown one, what is that? Right? So you can do that here, Cartes, volume cartographer, anything works really. A lot of tools at our disposal here. Okay, now we're going to start some post-processing. Well, actually, let's have a look at things first as we scrub through different views. Oh, right there, that's obviously green. So let's go to segment green, island tool, grab that. Okay. Now... This looks really good. Wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's fantastic. Um, let's have a look here. segments are which here all right I'm gonna grab this guy all right this one too I'm gonna call this one not color all right I mean, everything Everything looks really good here. All right, yes. All right, close enough, okay. Not clear. <laughs> right here, this green one. Is that blue or brown? This illuminates an issue. Whereas this this little wisp seems it comes off one. It wants to be brown. But then it yeah. I don't know what that is. I mean I'm just gonna call it this for now, but uh I'm not sure that's right. Really confusing. <laughs> right. Anyway, this is looking. This is looking good, but there's there's more post processing to go. Okay. Okay. Now. Okay. Now that we're done, well, now that we're done this stage, well, actually, let's look and see how much, how much leftovers we have. So if we just get rid of hide all these okay yeah there's a little bit there so what we want to do is we want to we want to load up the original volume once again so this is the mask okay now here's the volume now we're going to load the volume once more as a volume click OK all right we're gonna go up to our data section here and we're going to oh, why did I do that I didn't need to do that let's get rid of that delete haha we're gonna load up our mask once again okay load it up as a segmentation okay good now we're going to Erase our original segment one. We're going to take this segment one and move it into our folder. Okay. Now we'll go back to the segment editor. 
Okay, now select segment one, and uh, we're going to go to the logical operators now. Okay, the operation is going to be subtract. Now we're going to uh, apply the subtract on every single one. Wait a second, let's go here. Yeah, okay. And apply to each one. So now you can see in the 3D view that uh, our annotations now exist inside the original the original mask right and now we're going to grow because remember at the beginning we had shrunk everything by two voxels to make it easier to deal with everything and now we need to grow it back into uh, the original mask Okay, so now the margin tool, we're going to grow by one voxel and editable area inside segment one. Okay, so now we're going to grow. So now all its growth is constrained to our original mask. We're just going to do them one voxel at a time and then one segment at a time so one doesn't grow too much into the other or it doesn't take over too much into the intermediary space. Okay, now we're going to go through and do that again. Okay, All right, so that's looking pretty good. All right. Now I want to have a look and see if there's any huge errors going on. Well, I guess we could look first in here. Sometimes it's quite obvious when things have gone awry. I'm not seeing anything totally insane. Hmm. Good. Nice. All right, now let's do this again. It's getting faster every time, as you can see, because there's uh, less to do. All right, let's scrub through here and look for some errors. seeing anything awful here. Checking the boundaries to make sure everything's good.
I mean, everything looks quite good. There isn't a small issue here. You know, but like, <laughs> yeah, I'm fine with that, actually. You know, like what is even going on in the papyrus? I don't know, but it's not bad. It's not bad. Okay, so. I'm actually going to watch in this view. Nope, not that one. This one. I'm going to Oh, there's a lot. Huh, interesting. Okay, so I'm going to keep on applying one by one. Right, and as we can see, I just don't want to do it more than one voxel at a time because it could skew things. I mean, this is open source software. I'm sure you could write some kind of script to get this done. All right. I'm actually curious. See, there's, there's some issues in here. What's going on? So that's red. No, it's all red. Or is it, I mean, that's. All right. So here, I don't like this. I don't like the way that looks, okay? See what's happening here? So what I can do is I can select, which, uh, let's see what it is. It, no, uh, it's, no, uh, there it is. So that's segment eight, and I want to, and then blue is segment four. So now I want a editable area inside segment four. So now we choose the paintbrush, okay? And then I'm just editing the red inside the blue, right? So it, uh, this is tricky. I, mean, I think I want to do it this way. Yeah, okay, see like that, that's much nicer. Okay, same with inside segment one. So while we're here, let's just get rid of these. All right, hey. Not that each individual pixel matters that much, but. Okay, so now let's look what we've done here. Let's go back and edit inside segment four again. All right, I mean, this is kind of... Of... 
Yeah, I mean, so that makes more sense to me than the way it was, right? Separate it out. Okay, there's still more work to do here. So I'm just a little bit messy. Okay, uh, four. Okay, so we're coming along. <laughs> so I mean right so Okay, so you can really get into this stuff. Oh, and these bright bits just screw everything up. We need to get those bright bits out. So you can just like, you know, you can spend a bunch of time, go down the rabbit hole here and get things accurate by the voxel, okay? So, you know, the blue here, it's a little bit much. So let's just, you know, push on that back a little bit. All right, let's just come on get out of there okay so it does it can help to edit in these other views obviously I mean we're starting to get in the weeds so I'll be getting in the weeds for a while anyway uh, yeah okay so I mean that's that's not awful right and that's clearly blue so we want to go segment four inside segment one right get all that good good all right how do things look here lots of green in segment one Whew. All right, so things are getting uh, things are getting close. All right, if I remove everything, all right, let's try growing everything once more. See if we can get rid of some more of the green.
Okay, now you can just keep on iterating this process of moving the the masks back into the original mask until you know you just have a few bits, a few voxels here and there. You can just let them go. But you know, if we see down here, or we can go into this view, right? This is segment four. We want to uh, editable area segment one. Go over to the uh, to the island tool. Segment four inside segment one. Right. So that's uh, if we can do it that way. Oh, oops. But I mean, these are clearly part of segment one. We want to take care of that. And then what's that one there? That's segment six inside of segment one. Get that there. Right, segment four, segment one. That one. All right, I'm happy with this. So now we're going to go All right. It's really good, really close. We're going to go back up to our data and we are going to go to segment one. And once again, we're going to delete it. There it is. That is a finished cube, right? And we've grown back in everything we've cut out to the best of our ability. And so now if you're using UNETs as networks to deal with this data, you want, as I was saying before, you want to separate, you want a boundary as a new class, right? So you can go back in and you can shrink everything by a voxel or two and recreate a boundary between all these sheets, okay? Um, where they're touching. So you can create that extra class so your units are going to work, right? So that's fine. And for like segmenters, you know, depending on how you grow things back out, clearly the green here, when I erased all that, it's grown right down into the red, more than the red has grown up into the green. So depending on how accurate we want these things to be, you know, we can get in and we can analyze this specific area and look to see, you know, try and get that halfway, perfectly halfway. So when if people want to shrink things by voxel, they're not shrinking down into, into a sheet incorrectly. Right. But I mean this looks this looks quite good. Right? And there yeah, we can see the yellow Maybe has grown up a little bit more than the brown grew down, but not not really. Looks pretty even even Steven. Yeah, that's nice. Right, so at this stage I you know want to load the cubes adjacent and have a look at uh, what everything looks like. You know, I may as well actually do that now. Let's have a look. I'm going to go to the volume. So on here. Edit properties. Well, actually, let's just go back. I need that. Okay, the volume, let's grab the other one. Oh, 
Okay, now let's grab the mask. Let's go back to all right there we go sorry <laughs> took me a moment there all right stop okay so now we can check out this brown all right so that's two sheets there. That blue is two sheets, as we've just figured out. And so, yep, there it is, two sheets. Right, and so this is why you want to have, you know, other volumes loaded to look at while you segment, or have other programs open where you can inspect things. So you don't make mistakes like this, right? Because now I'm gonna have to go back and, you know, redo this area and uh, pull that apart. Okay, so that's, I'm not going to do that during this tutorial, you know, uh, you've got the gist of what's happening here. And uh, and this ends up being the result. So, you know, once I separate out those two sheets in the blue right there. Then uh, I, there must be some kind of lacuna over here because it's just missing. But, well, I mean, you can't see it here. You can see it when I load the other cube up. Okay, so we need to go back and fix this, this blue one. And as we can see in this view, yeah, there's two sheets there and uh, they need to be different. Now I'm not gonna make you sit here and watch that. You know, this, I'll go do that now on my own time. But uh, so anyways, that's the process. And uh, we're done. All right, this is one more one more cube for the pile once I fix that. And uh, this is a relatively easy cube, so you know, be warned. We're gonna want to hunt for the easiest areas all across scroll one first, and then you know, retrain our initial masks with networks trained on these annotations and just keep on leapfrogging and keep on leapfrogging uh, into more difficult and more difficult areas. And then hopefully, right, uh, we can slowly ingress into increasingly compressed regions. Now on a scroll like scroll four, it's gonna be very easy to make these cubes because there's so much separation of the papyrus. We're just gonna be able to rip along, but uh, We'd like to focus on scroll one for now, for all the obvious reasons. All right, well, that's it. And uh, I hope everyone had fun and good luck making cubes. Okay, bye.